Hey, I'm Sarah, Dr. Shaw's physician assistant, and this is Frankie, our master esthetician. We're going to do a video today for you guys just walking through a typical Botox appointment and try to answer some common questions that we get. So, Frankie likes to treat her labella, forehead, and crow's feet areas. One of the first things that I ask her is to look at her face in the mirror, have her animate for me. So Frankie, make that frowny face at me. So you can see right here where she's pulling. So you can see this is her corrugator and procerus muscles right there in the middle. And I kind of mark where she pulls. Right back here is the edge of that muscle. And now Frankie, raise your eyebrows for me. Good. So these horizontal lines are caused by your frontalis muscles, which go all two broad strips right around your forehead like this. So I kind of mark up here. Good. And then smile really big. So your orbicularis goes right around your eye like this and causes these crow's feet areas. And make a few little marks where we're going to go with that too. Okay. Now when you're injecting, there are a few areas to avoid. You don't want to get too close to the eye. You don't want to cross that mid-pupillary line. Um, you can end up with a little bit of eversion of the eyelid, which we don't want. And you also, when you're treating the frontalis up here, by relaxing this muscle, your eyebrow will naturally get a little bit flatter because this is the muscle that pulls your brows up. So when we relax it, your brow tends to go down. You just don't want to inject um, too close to the brow. You want to leave at least a centimeter and a half there to try to prevent any brow drooping. Okay, and Frankie's had Botox and Dysport several times before, so we're just gonna wipe the areas that we're gonna inject with alcohol. Good antiseptic here. Okay, and Frankie, make that frown for me again. Perfect, and relax. So it's important for her to be nice and relaxed when we inject. And get right in there into her procerus muscle there. And I'm gonna come back here and kind of get the tail of the corrugator. So Botox takes a good seven days to set in and if we did her treatment with Dysport that will onset a little quicker, more like three days. All right, Frankie, any questions? No? Mm -hmm. okay. That's all there is to Botox and Dysport.